Morning, everyone. So I want to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I want to see if I could walk everyone through the watch list and maybe if I kind of explain it a little bit more in detail, it could help a lot more people kind of understand what I'm looking for and how I'm trying to do it. So let's start from the beginning, Yuma. So the reason why I like this stock the best is because while everything else was kind of running and this was kind of going crazy, uh, this didn't really run that much. So that tells me that there's not really enough interest in the stock. That tells me that people don't really care about the stock too much. So basically my game plan is going to be to use kind of this 470 resistance level as my entry. So I would probably short some here. I would short a little bit more here and then I'll probably cover above this level here. So for me, what I want to see on this is say I'm using the 30% rule and my max size is 10,000 shares. I would use 1500 shares here, 1500 shares here and get out over there. But if the stock kind of goes red and stays red, which it looks like it's doing right now, uh, ideally what we want to see is we want to see it break this 420 support level, bounce to 450, bounce to 460, fail, and then short this all the way down for you know a fade under four bucks. You know, next support is 390. So this is kind of like my ideal play for the day. Let's go to SES. So this one was fucking crazy, right? Everyone knows it's a black swan stock, everyone knows that this is kind of one that caught everyone off guard, but it did its kind of real big parabolic move uh, up here. You know, not all these stocks have to go to 100, not all of them have to go to 70, not all of them have to go to 50. This fucking move from three bucks to almost 30 bucks is plenty. So what I like to see on a stock like this is the first red day setup. So I'm not gonna get into that, everyone's seen the videos on it, but uh, essentially what I'm looking for is uh, this stock is gonna have SSR at the open, so I want this thing to wash out under this 1550 level and then see if it can rebound to 18, 19, 20. And then as it fails going green, as it does a lower high, I will then look to short the next pop or the next lower high, risking probably this 2050 level here. So if it probably breaks this level, I'm gonna be out. But essentially what I am looking for is this tank looking forward to bounce and then looking to short that bounce because right now, uh, because it's red, there's less interest in the stock. There are less people that care about the stock. Um, and I just want to be able to attack when the momentum is the weakest. So this should be interesting if it stays red. And worst case scenario, if I fucking short at 15, this thing has room all the way down to seven, so I don't have to be early here. Last one, BIMI. So this one was fucking crazy. You know, one dollar to fucking thirteen dollars in a day. Uh, this has SSR or not SSR. This is a low float stock. Uh, I think it's about a one million share float. And what's going to end up happening is when SES is dead, the new money, all the money is going to be flowing into this one because that's the one that people are the most interested in right now. So I mean, just looking at it logically, let's look at the daily chart. Where is some resistance? I mean, shit, fucking 20 bucks, you know, it's possible. But I mean, the reality is on this stock, people are going to be looking to find the top like SCS again. Uh, for us, what we're going to do on the short side is we're basically going to use the same plan we used before. When this stock goes red at $9, we're going to short it. Everything else is front side. Everything else is chop. We don't have to waste our time with that shit. All we have to do is wait for it to go red. So that's kind of my game plan this morning. Um, let me know if you guys like seeing these videos. I can do it pretty relatively easy just explaining what I'm looking for. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Thanks.